As promised, I am back with international supermodel actress and I hear entrepreneur Stacey McKenzie. How are you tonight? I'm good, man. Enough respect and much love to Vibes Television. Big up, big up. Okay, so I was doing my homework and I read that when you were growing up, one of the things that you were told was that you did not have the right look for what you wanted to do. So how did that make you feel? I mean, you know what? It didn't, it didn't bother me because I was already brought up in a, you know, in a country, my country, Jamaica. You know, um, being different, like being different looking, having a strange voice, a different voice. You know, I was always teased and taunted. So um, it prepared me, you know what I'm saying? It prepared me for the world when I got older, you know, and when I got out there in the, fa in the entertainment industry, in the fashion industry. So, yeah, so it didn't, really bother, it didn't really bother me like that. I was already over it because I already knew I had the look. I had a different look, I had a different thing going on, but yet still I drew a lot of attention. You know what I'm saying? So then I was like, all right, even though people still make fun of me, and, you know, and, and they're laughing after me, or, you know, I got good love and I got bad love or whatever, but still I get enough looks. But still I get, you know, but still I get attention no matter what. So I figure at, at, age, at the age of five that, yo, I must have something. So you know what? If I get all this attention, might as well use it to my best benefit and make my money off of it. Somebody say, all right, I'm going to be a mother. I'm going to travel the world and make everybody see me. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. So I also know that you were in the, the movie The Fifth Element with Bruce Willis. Yes, my first, my first, first, first movie. Okay, so how was that? What was that like? Oh, it was amazing. I mean, it was an experience. Um, I got the job. It was crazy because everybody, there was a big casting, right? And... I didn't know about the casting. My agency didn't even send me out to, my agency at the time, they didn't even send me out to the casting. And the director was in Africa looking through a magazine. I came across one picture that I had in the magazine and he just thought I was different looking. He just thought I was weird looking, right? And he was like, yo, I gotta find that girl. And he found me and offered me the job. Okay, so model, international supermodel, and you have the campaign with Calvin Klein. Yes, I've so tell me about that. Oh wait, I have a couple of campaigns actually. Okay. <laughs> but like Calvin Klein is really the campaign that put me on the map. I've done a Calvin Klein campaign. I've done Jean Paul Gaultier campaign, Reebok, Max, uh, Banana Republic, quite a few. I made my mark for the Jamaicans for us, but um. I mean, it was amazing working on the Calvin Klein campaign because not only because, you know, it's Calvin Klein, it's also Richard Avedon, which is a major fashion photographer icon. He recently died a couple years ago, God rest his soul. But um, it was another situation again where there was a casting. Everybody went for it. I wasn't told about the casting again by my agency at the time. So then uh, I found out that there was a callback. And I told my agency, yo, I'm going. And I crashed the callback. And when I crashed the callback, I met up with Richard Avedon. And that man, that man basically booked me on the spot. We spoke for about two hours about everything other than fashion and modeling. Everything other than that. And, you know, he's a really good guy. You know, he's a good man. And we spoke for a while. And then next thing you know, it's like, you know, I looked at him and I said, Richard, tell me the truth. I got it, right? And he was like, you want the job? I'm like, hell yeah, I want the job. And he was like, all right, I'm giving it to you. And I was like, all right, I want you to do one thing for me. I want you to take out your phone right now, call my agency, my agency at the time <laughs> that didn't send me to the casting. As I called them and tell them that I got the job, right? I made them know, say, Stacey McKenzie, Jamaican mugger. I do, I'm going to do the Calvin Klein campaign with Kate Moss. So don't ever, ever forget to send Stacey to go and casting them again. <laughs> okay, so you have done so many modeling jobs. 
since you started. But is that the biggest one? Is that the most memorable one? Or is there something else? Which one? For the modeling jobs? Yeah, the Calvin Klein. Is that, that was one of the most memorable ones because, you know, we... Oh, and also, like, for, uh, no, that was one of the most memorable ones, actually, because we sat and we talked for a while. It was everything other than fashion. And it was so cool. And then he ordered me chocolates. He ordered me, like, Godiva chocolates. The man just met me. And we just clicked, you know? And he ordered me chocolates, and we sat there. We, I'm, like, munching away and just yapping on. And I was telling him what was pissing me off that day. Like, who upset me last week? You know, who made me happy today? Who made me happy last week? I was just going off. And it was just cool, you know? It was, just, it was a really good experience. It was, yeah, it was really cool. You see, so... I mean, there's other memorable ones. There's one that was, well, yeah, there was one that wasn't a good, it's a memory, it wasn't good though. I don't want to talk about it. So. Okay, so model, international supermodel, actress. Now you're acting, I know you're in the fifth element, but am I going to see you on the movie screen anytime soon again? Well, hopefully you're going to see me, I'm looking, um, I just finished doing an independent film with Giancarlo Esposito. So look forward to that, it's coming out on Sundance. But I'm still working, I'm still getting out there. I've been um, auditioning with Spike Lee. Okay. So hopefully I land another major film and I'll be on the big screen again. Okay, I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed for you. Please. <laughs> oh, wait, you gotta talk about my company, Stacey McKenzie's Walk This Way. I read that about that too. I read about that too. Okay, so tell me about your company. Well, uh, it's, a, it's a modeling company. Oh, okay, I started my own company. When I started modeling, um, because, like, when I got out there on the scene, I was very different looking, but I also had a different walk and everything going on on the runway. I was known more for my runway modeling than my print modeling. And I decided, you know, when I had the opportunity to make it happen, to create a company where I basically teach the upcoming generation in the industry, right? Even if it's not models, even if it's not aspiring or established models, People in general that just need that confidence builder, right? So I decided to make Stacey McKenzie's Walk This Way. And it's basically, Stacey McKenzie's Walk This Way means leading you, guiding you on the right path to succeed in life, right? So I teach all aspects of the industry. My specialty is runway. And it's like the best because, you know, I get to like play with people and their, you know, and their characters. Like, I get to like... I, I try to bring to people, like, to bring in the fashion industry that it's okay to be different. It's, you know, you don't have to walk like Naomi Campbell or Giselle Bunchen. You can walk like however you want. If you walk like a drunker, you know what I'm saying? Walk like a drunk bad. If you walk like a crackhead, walk like a crackhead. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, you have your own style going on, and it's okay to be different. So that's why I created Stacey McKenzie's Walk This Way. So we have international supermodel, actress, Musician, entrepreneur, judge, and host. Are you going to hit us with anything else? Hmm. Maybe owning an island and building a spa on it. So I might be a real estate developer in a minute. Oh, Stacy, thank you. And as you can see, she is very inspirational. So go on her website, read up on her. If you are an aspiring model, she could be the one to teach you. I will teach you how to walk like a supermodel. <laughs> Thank you, Vibes TV. We'll be back.